Death is an inescapable reality. What begins has to end eventually. Well, it's not just about the life of humans and other organisms. Everything within the cosmos began with the Big Bang and will all surely end someday. Well, that's all the realms of theory. But for the first time, scientists have found evidence on how a star dies. Isn't that scary? Well, watch this report to know how and when our sun will die. And while in the process, it will also consume our planet. Every living being, from the biggest mammal to the tiniest of insects, every living cell draws its energy from our sun. The sun radiates light and heat, which makes it possible for life to exist on Earth. Without the solar energy, life as we know it would cease to exist on our home planet. It may appear as a ball of fire in the sky, but it's 1.4 kilometers wide. The sun's massive gravity holds everything together, from planets to moons to asteroids. Everything keeps moving in a rhythmic fashion. But in five billion years from now, the sun will begin to die. As a star nears its end, it either expands and goes out with a bang, or it collapses into its core. Till now, this was in theory. But behold, this is the first such celestial catastrophe observed in real life. Scientists for the first time witnessed a sun-like star devouring a planet. One can call it a snapshot from the future, though astronomers have theorized that stars do gobble up planets. The event was observed 12,000 light years away, near the Aquila constellation in our Milky Way galaxy. The star, which is quite similar to the Sun, engulfed the planet over a period of around 100 days, starting off by nibbling at its edges, which ejected dust. The bright explosion occurred in the final 10 days as the planet was totally destroyed when it plunged inside the star. And this is exactly how, in five billion years from now, our home planet will be destroyed too. But don't lose heart, if humanity does survive till then, we would have made unimaginable progress. Hopping around galaxies and making interstellar travel would be akin to taking a cab home. But for that, we need to survive that long, reduce emissions, try to undo climate change and also learn to live in peace, and not annihilate each other. Till then, happy stargazing.